Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels and welcome back to another episode on the Logical Geek Boy Patreon server. In our last episode, we went ahead and we worked on the start of a witch farm, well maybe two witch farms, as well as worked with Victor on setting up a skeleton farm over at our uh, Mushroom Island slash what's going to be Atlantis base. So today I want to continue working on the witch farm because I was able to get a couple successful spawns so it turns out you really just need to have as few people on the server as possible uh, because a lot of people don't have the uh, ground below their bases lit up so when there's a lot of people on they take up the mob camp and uh, since there's not a lot of unlit caves and they're all or no I said that backwards since there are a lot of unlit caves uh, you don't really get any good rates so you really have to do this at a time when there's no one around and if I remember I'll throw up uh, a screenshot or two showing that I did get some spawns now in order to do this project today I need to work on this box right here. My geek box is pretty empty of all the good stuff that I need. Uh, I've been going through my shulker boxes just seeing if I had anything. Uh, I was checking stuff out in these chests too that I haven't been in in a while. And I really don't have any of the supplies that I need to get this done. So the first order of business today is to go ahead and let's get our redstone supplies together. Maybe we'll go into the shopping district and spend some diamonds. We've been getting quite a bit. So actually, let's go over there. And then anything else that we don't have, we'll go ahead and uh, go on a mining expedition or resource gathering trip. So I'll meet you over at the shopping district. I just, I just saw a name tag over here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's Zeref up to? What, what, what are you doing, Zed? Should I come bother you? Should I come check on and see what you're doing? He might be recording. I don't, I don't want to bother him and interrupt him if he's in the middle of recording. But anyways, aside from seeing that mysterious name down there that we've solved that mystery, um, I want to come over here and show you this. So I don't really know if I've showed off the mailroom too often. It's been renovated recently. Uh, and let's see. Yes, I have shown this off before. And the last time I was in here, I didn't give proper credit to uh, who was working. On oh, wait. Is he in here? Let's go see. Let's go see. Oh, there he is. I think he's AFK. He doesn't realize I'm here. Um, I, for I forget who made this. I think it's on this line over here. Yeah, designed by De Oscar and Pro Topaz, and the name that I always mess up because I still don't know how to say it properly. Um, I'm just going to walk away before I mess it up again. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, one of these days I will get it right, but what I wanted to do was come in here and check out oh rip yo yo uh, Check out my mail because I have mail and I've got lots of saplings, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take these saplings and there is a story behind them uh, If you've seen my other videos, hey Z, let's tell him he's on camera. Hey, you're on camera um, My other video I was looking for spruce and I couldn't find it in my single player world and it took forever. I spent like two episodes doing it and I finally found some. So I think the guys on the server are having a little bit of fun with me and uh, they just, you know, put that in there as a, as a callback to that episode. So that was real cool. Give me a good laugh. I wish I did it on camera before, but I didn't. I wasn't recording at the time. I wasn't thinking. So yeah, this is uh, what's going on with the, the spawn area too. Uh, I, I don't know if this was fully completed in my last video. I don't remember, but this is looking real great. And again, that's being done by Zeref, who's right over there. You should check out his YouTube channel uh, for the build that he's doing there. But let's get over to the shopping district. So here we are at our general store. So I just want to show this real quick. Uh, we've been doing pretty well. We've sold out out of quite a bit of uh, things. So we just, I think this is the last of our shulker boxes over here in these chests. So we got to go ahead and restock on that. We're, we're out of a bunch of stuff, but hey, this is cricket. Let's fix our helmet. There we go. Oh, now I made it worse. There we go. Perfect. And I was just in here before, so I don't think there's... Oh, okay. That's new. Um... That wasn't here like an hour ago. So let's let's check out our 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 situation here with the diamond. So yeah, we got a stack of diamond blocks and we're working on our next stack. So that's one stack for me, one stack for bear. So we're doing pretty good with our profits here. I I I'm thrilled with how the shop's going, but I'm gonna continue to leave the profits there. 
and come check around and find the redstone shop. I think it's this one. Hmm. Okay. I was supposed to get eight for seven or eight for two. I'm only getting seven here. Let's see what happened. I think maybe I didn't take them quick enough. Okay, I got eight that time. So 15 and I need another another set of eight. I, I think maybe they just got sucked back up or something. I'm not too worried about that. I'm, uh, I'm doing okay with diamonds here, so there we go. We got 23. That should be enough for what we're doing. Uh, let's keep shopping. Okay, I gotta find out whose shop this is because there may be some problems with their redstone. Uh, I didn't get all the items I was supposed to get. I'm not too worried because I got what I need, but um, yeah, so I think I, I went in for the sticky pistons. Uh, the light turned off. I think they're just out of stock and they ran out of that, so I should have gotten 11 more sticky pistons, so that's a bummer. Um, and the observers, I was supposed to get eight for two, and I bought three sets of eight, but got 23 instead of 24. So, well, I don't see a sign anywhere for the name of the shop owner, so I don't know who to tell to let them know their redstone might not be working, and they're also out of some inventory. Um, so... Yeah, but we have enough for what we need. We'll be okay with that. Uh, yeah, so let's... I'm just having all sorts of problems in this shop. That door did not want to open for me. So I think we have um, enough of what we need for there. Let's see. I also need some hoppers. Let's see if they have that anywhere here. Okay, so I haven't seen any uh, um, hoppers anywhere, but what I do need is redstone. Um, and there's no redstone in the redstone shop, but there's redstone in the witch shop, which doesn't entirely make sense, but, um, I mean, it makes sense that there's redstone here, but not that there's not redstone in the other shop. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to buy some. So where can I throw this down? There we go. Uh, and I need, oh, I already have my diamonds on me. Derp. Uh, so 16 blocks for one diamond. There we go. Thank you very much. And I do actually have redstone. Okay. All right. I bought it. I didn't have to. Whatever, I'll need it again at some point, um, even though I'm going to make a farm that will probably give me tons of redstone. So, that was a diamond that I didn't need to spend. Oh well, doesn't matter. I have tons of them now. I'm doing really well in that other shop. So, we have redstone. Um, now I'm just rambling because that caught me completely off guard. Hello, Enderman. What are you doing here? I don't feel like you're supposed to be here. I've never seen an Enderman in this area. Uh, I think we have a good amount of our supplies. Uh, oh, you know what I still need? I need slime, and I don't think I have slime on me. And I also need leaves, so that is one thing that we are going to have to go and pick up. So let's just come here and buy some slime. And yes, I have tons of slime in another location. Uh, back at the base uh, where we're doing the Mushroom Island in Atlantis. But there's a little bit of a problem. I'm quite far away from that at the moment. See, I had my home set somewhere else for the time being. And I had uh, slept in a bed at the island, which is how I kept getting back and forth really quick. Um, and then I set, slept somewhere else and changed where my respawn location was when I die or when I come back from the end and I don't have a quick way to get back and it's like thousands and thousands and we're talking like over 10,000 blocks away and I'm just not ready to do that that flight right now because I want to work on the witch farm so I got to buy all the supplies rather than going and grabbing what I know I have and now I'm lost in the shopping district where am I going this is why people when they record um, and they come off as being really dumb and really stupid. It, it's because you're trying to do two things at once and you forget where you're going. You forget how to do all the simplest of things like talk in sentences that make sense. I don't even know if I'm talking in proper English right now. Um, 
I'm just gonna stop talking and get back to my base. Okay, so here we are back at base and there's a couple of things that I still need to get. I need leaves, so that's one thing. And I need um, some hoppers, so that's another thing. And, oh, hello, which, oh my God, thank you for proving that this thing actually is going to work and it'll be okay. So there we go. I was not sure I was gonna be able to prove this out, but we, we have a witch bond, so this, this works. Thank you for being on video. That's fantastic. I'm happy. I'm happy now. Okay, let's go ahead and chop down some trees and get some of these leaves and then we can make our hoppers and some other stuff. Plus, it's going to be useful to clear out the area. And I do want to uh, uh, make a lot of this into water to improve the spawn rates uh, of this farm. But that's, that's fantastic. I'm going to go kill her. Okay, so I cleared out a couple of trees, got some leaves, and I think I have everything that we need now inside of the shulker box. We should be able to get everything completed with just this. Actually, there is one more thing I need, and it might be in here. Let's see. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. It's not. I need obsidian, and I don't think I have any in any of my boxes, so... Yeah, I gotta go find some obsidian and then I'll come back to here and start working on this. Okay, I'm doing something a little bit dangerous here. Um, I really do need to get back to my base. So I'm deciding to try and fly there. So I got to get about 1400, I think, on the X. And then about 800 on the Z. And I think that'll get me right about there. So, yeah, this is a little bit scary to do. Uh, but I know it's, it's possible because I think I've done it once before. So, let's just hope this works out okay. Um, and is there anything familiar here? Okay, I think I've been to this fortress. We're gonna fly right past that though because I don't wanna mess with that. All right, so now I gotta get off in this direction a couple hundred blocks. And I have a fire resistance potion just in case. Uh, or maybe this is the nether fortress that I recognize. It should be really close now. You can see we're not seeing a lot of quartz in the area, and that's because I have mined up quite a bit of it. Um, where is it? Somewhere in this area, there should be another portal. Um, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Let's, uh, I guess keep going and flying around a bit. Okay, so if this is the right cords now, then we have to be close. And a lot of this nether is generated already, so this may actually be the proper area. Uh, if I glide in over this way, this kind of feels right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is right. This is right. I recognize this patch of uh, nether, uh, nether quartz, so I should be right up over here. Perfect. Okay. All right. That's it. I just got the coordinates back backwards. Now I know where I'm going. Fantastic. Let's go in here and get our supplies. I got all the way back just in time. It was nighttime, and I was able to sleep real quick, and now somewhere in here we have obsidian. I just don't remember where it is. It's our sorting system that Vic built. Not up there, not in there. Uh, please, obsidian. Where are, there we I thought we had a lot more than that. Uh, good thing I only need, I think, like four pieces. Something like that. I'll grab this much. <laughs> um, I, I don't need that much. I'm just grabbing it because I don't want to have to come back again. Um... And I really thought we had more obsidian somewhere, so that's something I'll have to look into and see if we can get some more. Okay, so I managed to get my spawn set back here, so that's good. We'll be able to get back to this place quickly if we need to. So now let's go ahead and I think we have everything we need 
for the farm. So we'll go ahead and start working on that. Now let's go back over there. Okay, this is it. This is for real this time. We now have everything that we need. And if we don't and I miss something, I will cry. Um, I just realized I don't have enough sticky pistons, but that's okay. I can make them out of normal pistons because we don't need too many of those. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We can do this. Uh, let's go ahead and start building this up. Hmm. I I don't know where my head's at. My Maybe I shouldn't be recording today. Maybe I should not be recording today. Um, on the plus side, that flying machine's correct. On the downside, I forgot that you can't <laughs> use slabs over here. And these need to be... Um, what are those things called? Terracotta blocks. I, I, something's off with me today. I, I'm not sick, I swear. I know last time I was kind of crazy. I was a little sick. And what's going on here? Why is that? I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. What did I do wrong? What's going on with Bowtie's head today? I may need to get my head checked out. Okay, and there we go guys. So we essentially have this witch farm done now uh, So what happens is there's these flying machines They just move back and forth and as witches spawn on this platform. They just are gonna knock them off um, So there are a couple more things I have to do I have to place up a bunch of leaves around the farm to prevent spawns um, but that shouldn't take too long. I'll have to turn the farm off to do that. And that's something else I may want to consider is putting an on off switch for the farm. So it doesn't always uh, run unless I'm here because I don't want the flying machines to load and then unload um, while I'm going through chunks and, and, and for them to, to break. Uh, and then I also need to take care of the killing chamber platform and transportation system and all that sort of stuff. So I want to push the witches off. Uh, knock them into a hole on both sides, funnel them into a chute, and um, bring them up top where I can go ahead and AFK with a sword and just knock them all down and kill them. So, uh, got a lot more work to do. It's getting a little bit late at night for me, so I'm going to take a break here and catch back up with this uh, recording tomorrow. Welcome back. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work here on the farm. Uh, I still need to take care of the tube going all the way up, but I prepared the, the drop chamber that the flying machines are going to be knocking the witches into. So when it comes off this way, it's going to drop them down into this gap. And on the return, if any spawn, it'll fall down into this gap here. Then I have some water streams, so I'm just going to slowly push them in this direction. I think mobs travel faster than players in the water streams. And I have this set up here to capture them in a bubble column, which then they'll float up into, as you just saw right there. I didn't move forward or press anything. So then I got to build this all the way up into the sky, and I got to think how high up I really need to go. Um, I think if I go from down here, this is... I just want to make sure I get it at a point where they're not going to disappear or something. So if I pull up F3 over here, uh, I'm currently at 56. I want to make sure I stay within 128 blocks of Y56. So I guess around, um, you know, maybe uh, 56, so 156, 160 will probably be a good area to uh, do an AFK. Uh, uh, spot and get the witches and everything all up there. Whoops, didn't mean to take a screenshot. So I'm going to go ahead and start building up this pillar and then I still got to go ahead and put the leaves in, but uh, we're, we're getting there, guys. All right, welcome back. I got the uh, mob elevator all figured out and that's all taken care of. And let's see if I come down here, which I, I was working on doing a few final details, but I fell off the edge. So I'm like, yeah, let me just come down and record it. So we have the, uh, I guess the mob capture area thing majigger uh, that's all here and taken care of so that's good and then moving forward we have our column uh, that's using blue terracotta and purple glass and that comes all the way up and I said I was originally gonna go to like 160 uh, I double checked the math on that and going up to about here uh, is actually going to be better so I'm at like 182 there um, and this is what I was worried about happening mm. 
I may come back and replace this with packed ice. I don't have any on me. Uh, we'll, we'll have to test that and see, because I put these trap doors here because I want the mobs to go all the way forward. I don't want them to be able to stand at a spot where they can, can see me there. And actually, they probably won't be able to make eye contact with me, so maybe I can get rid of these. Let's see. If they're back here, uh, they might be able to see me. I don't know. We'll have to play around with this and, uh, and see, but we'll, we'll leave it like this for now. If it causes problems, then I'll, I'll play around with the trap doors and put those back in. Um, and we got that there, so eh, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get something. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to get any spawns on camera to show you because we have, uh, what is that, six people online right now, counting myself. With the amount of unlit caves that are probably around here on the server, I don't think I'm really going to get anything. And this right now is just a temporary uh, temporary AFK sort of a uh, uh, platform. And I don't... Uh, uh, intend to leave it like this. This is just so I can sit here and be safe and not have to worry about um, falling off the edge while I'm working up here at all and I have enough coverage overhead where there shouldn't be anything that can come in and get me while I'm AFK here. So we'll give that a test and see. Uh, and then we have our item collection over here. Right now I just have the one chest. I'll have to work on adding in a couple of more chests. Uh, I'm not really sure what the rates on this thing are going to be like, but I should be able to get some decent stuff just standing here and using a clicker or something, I don't know, to uh, just uh, uh, be able to go ahead and uh, knock the witches and kill them and, and get the loot with my looting three sword. So uh, I think this is probably going to wrap it up. I'm going to try going AFK for a bit and see if I can get any drops or anything if I am that lucky. Uh, but I'm expecting to probably not get anything, so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So, I've been FK for, like, maybe 40 minutes or so, and I've come back periodically to check this out. And a couple of times I did come back to kill, you know, here, here's what we got so far. The gunpowder, sticks, uh, sugar, glowstone, and spider eyes. And then I'm like, okay, let me go back and do some more editing on the video. And a bunch of people got offline, and suddenly this thing is, like, working in high gear. So, like, in the last couple of minutes alone, this is what's what's shown up. Like, this is maybe five or ten minutes of, of going away, and I don't know how many... Does this tell me how many entities are here? Uh, it says maybe 14. I don't, I don't know how reliable that number is. Uh, but, but let's go ahead and kill this and see what we get. I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff in my inventory just to try and get an idea of uh, what, what we're going to be getting here. So let's go ahead and give him a few whacks and cross our fingers. Okay, so we had one more come in at the end, so I went ahead and include this, and we've gotten, um, no, I don't know how much we got because some of the stuff popped into my inventory, so I would have to go back and do the math and see, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good here. We even got some witch heads. That's awesome. Uh, so the gunpowder I'm happy about, that means, you know, a source of, of, uh, uh, supplies to make more rockets. I'm not really too crazy about the glass bottles or the spider eyes or the sugar, but redstone, okay, that's that's not bad. And glowstone, I'm hoping to get some more glowstone. We even got an instant health potion, so that's useful too. So it looks like this thing's working well. I'm going to go ahead and continue to uh, spend some more time AFKing here and see, uh, you know, what we really can get. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. It does help out the channel. So even if you just say hi in the comments, that, that helps out too, although I'd rather you say something more than, than hi that's constructive and helps me improve and get better as a content creator. But you can say hi. If not, that's okay. You can even say that I'm terrible and this episode was garbage. Whatever you do, it helps out, even if it's not good. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this is Bowtie. Peace out.